Hey friends, Gator Rum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna be sharing everything that I recently grabbed from MZ Wallet. So today I have three different bags to share with you. MZ Wallace just launched a brand new pattern for spring, some new colors and some new fabrics. So I needed to grab kind of a little bit of everything just to see it in person, to see what I thought of it. And I'm really excited to share it with you. Up first is the bag that I am certain is no surprise to any of you that have been around my channel here for a while, and that is the brand new Crosby Sling Bag in the beautiful denim fabric. I love this bag. When I say, I, I, it's, it's my favorite MZ Wall style ever and ever. I think this is now like my fourth one that I currently have in my collection and I've had many over the years and I've sold some and kept some and this is one that is going to be in my collection forever and ever, amen. <laughs> I got it, um, I guess it was about a week ago when I got this order in. It was right before I left to go on my spring break trip with my son to New York City and I immediately packed this one up and brought it with me because I knew that the Crosby Sling was gonna be the most perfect bag for traveling and I was really excited to kind of have it in this new denim fabric. It wore so well on our trip. I carried just this, like this is all I had with me. I had a rolling carry-on suitcase that had my like clothes and toiletries in it and then I just had this and I had my Kindle in here. I had some like my portable charger, all like the travel bear essentials and they all fit in here perfectly. And it was, it, it was the best bag to take on the trip. So let me kind of show it, like kind of go through it and show you the bags for those of you that may not be familiar with the sling. Then I'll try it on for you real quick. Zooming in on the bag here, you can see that it is a true denim fabric with beautiful gold hardware. It is not a shiny gold. It is a little bit shinier than like a brushed gold, if that makes sense, but it's not a brassy yellow type gold. It's very, very pretty. And you can see there's kind of like the piping on the bag is like a little bit darker of a blue. I love how the quilted looks with the denim. It is really beautiful in this sling. Unzipping the bag here, you can see that you have two zipper pulls so you can easily get anything that you need in the bag out if you're wearing it, no matter what way that you're wearing it on the body. Inside here, you do have one zipper pocket that actually has two small pockets inside there. And other than that, it's like a big open pocket that packs things really well. This bag holds way more than you think it would, but you don't have to stuff it for it to kind of hold its shape. It's, it's truly one of my favorite bags. This pocket here in the front is also really great to kind of throw chapstick or hair ties, or I actually had my small little card case wallet in here when I was traveling, and it was just great to kind of have things that I needed to grab for quickly right in this front pocket. I was also able to put my son and mine's passport in here. I travel with those just because he's a minor, so I have a passport for him and that just kind of fits right in here so it worked out really really well on the back of the bag you don't have any pockets or anything like that it is just open kind of like the fabric of the bag let's talk briefly about the different straps that come with this bag this one here is one that i never use on my crosby slings um it is just a buckle closure and a loop at the end and this is really truly for like if you want to wear it around your waist and be completely like hands-free i guess and have it as a traditional fanny pack this would be good for like if you are maybe at a theme park all day for traveling i guess if you prefer to wear it that way i just never do i prefer to wear this one like a traditional sling and even traveling this past week when i had it a little bit fuller with things i just wore it a little bit lower on the body so that it sat more like a cross body so that's how i like to wear it the two straps that i always keep on mine are usually this webbed like seatbelt strap and then the chain accent. This chain accent I have carried a number of times just by itself on these slings. I'll actually kind of take this, let me take this other one off so that you can see what it looks like if you just use the um, chain strap. So I am five foot nothing, just kind of for height reference. Um, and this chain is a really nice length on me. It's almost a tad long, to, if I'm being honest, but there's nothing packed in this bag right now. So it's hanging very 
um, like loose on me, I guess. If you have a lot of things packed in here, it's gonna be a little bit tighter, but a lot of times I will just wear this bag with this chain strap. I find that it's really comfortable. I don't find that it digs into my shoulder or anything like that, mainly because you can't over like stuff this, like you can't pack a lot in it that's gonna be exceptionally heavy. Um, so I just find that it's comfortable with this chain here. You can also kind of wear it around the back of you um, if you wanted to kind of wear it like that so that the bag like hangs a little bit this way. Um, I also like to use the other strap. This one here is just a little bit more comfortable, I guess, if you're going to be traveling. Um, it basically doesn't move when it's on your body. It doesn't slip around or anything like that. It's just a little bit thicker of a strap, especially if you have like a coat on and like bigger, like heavier clothes, it just kind of fits a little bit secure on your body. Plus I do like the look of the chain strap, just kind of hanging on the sling bag like this. Um, you can easily adjust this strap here. I have it like almost, well right now, I have it on the tightest setting that it will go and it fits very like snug as a sling bag. Um, when I was carrying it this past week, I did tend to carry it a little bit lower and that main reason was because I had like my coat on, so I was able to basically wear it like this and put my coat over top of it and still kind of move it to the front if I wanted to or it could hang a little bit lower if I wanted it to also. So there's lots of flexibility with this one. I love it. I have a number of reviews of this one. If you want to see the denim one packed up, let me know. I'm happy to do another one um, and kind of show how I uh, packed it up for traveling. That could be a helpful video probably. Um, but other than that, I highly, highly recommend the denim. I know there's a couple of other styles that were released in it. Um, the fabric is just so good and the color it's just, it's one of my favorites. Up next is this Metro belt bag in the really pretty marigold color. I have had this style in the past and it is just too small for me. I have the tag still on it here because I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping it or not. I am a bigger bag person and this is just, doesn't really meet my needs as far as like the size of it, but I wanted to grab it again, mainly because I wanted to see the marigold color in person and I wanted to see if I could make this bag work because I do think that it is an awesome, awesome belt bag for summer especially because you're outside a lot and you don't really need to carry a lot with you. This is great if you are just kind of like out and about and you just need like your essentials. If you're traveling, of course, this is a great one to put inside bigger bags. So I wanted to kind of play with it to see if I could make it work again for me. So I'm not entirely sure, which is again why I have the uh, tags and the wrapping still on it because I'm not sure if I'll be returning this one. But I wanted to kind of go through it and show it to you. If you want to see this one in comparison to maybe like the uh, the large Metro, is it the, this one is the Metro belt bag, the Metro sling. Um, I have that in the beautiful cornflower blue. If you want to see like a comparison of the two of these, maybe that would be a helpful video. Let me know. Um, but this one here is a very basic kind of like your standard belt bag. I feel like size wise for those of you that have like the ever popular Lululemon belt bag, I feel like this is really similar to the 1L size, which if those of you that have watched my other Lululemon reviews, the 1L size is just a little bit too small for me and the 2L is like perfection. So I feel like that's kind of the case with this one here. But with that being said, I really, really like this Metro material. So I feel like it would be really, really comfortable to carry. So let's kind of go through the um, pockets of this one. As you can see here on the front of the bag, you do have one small zipper pocket and it is a tight fit. I do think it's perfect though to throw in like hair ties or hand sanitizer, your keys, something small that you do need to kind of grab for quickly. Um, when it is zipped up here, it does have like a little flap so you can hardly see the zipper. Um, when you open up the inside of this belt bag, you do have a zipper pocket, which I love. And then you have one other little slip pocket right there in the front. So I do think it would hold a lot more than you think it would, which is why I'm kind of curious to pack it up again to see um, kind of how it packs up and what will fit inside. So I do plan to do that. On the side over here, you do have a little bit of extra fabric, which would make it really comfortable to wear. Um, on the back of the belt back here, you don't have any pockets, but you do have a leather MZ Wallace logo. 
throwing this belt bag on really quickly so you can just see what it looks like on the body in comparison to that sling bag that I just had on. Obviously, it is a lot smaller of a fit. Um, I think that it is really comfortable, especially with this extra fabric that I kind of just pointed out. I feel like it fits securely on the body really comfortably. I think it would be great if you're going to be out all day, like outside, if you're going to be at a park or hiking or a theme park or something like that, where you really, truly just need bare, bare essentials. I think that there's, I think that there's a place for this one. I really do. I still haven't decided. Obviously I'm going to pack it up, see if I can make it work for me. Um, but let me know those of you that have this one, um, if you like the size of it, if you find yourself grabbing for it. Last but certainly not least, I was dying to see what this new print that was just released looked like in person. So I grabbed it in the medium Metro Tote Deluxe. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm on the fence with this print, mainly because it seems a little bit darker than what I thought it was going to be leaning in some of the stock photos that was released by MZ Wallace. I don't hate the pattern by any means, but I'm not sure that I would love this pattern over like a fun, bright, solid, like summer color, which I know they're going to be releasing because they tend to do that every summer. So I've been crossing my fingers for like some really fun summer colors. So I'm not sure that this is going to be a winner for me in this particular print. But if you are like a pattern person, if you don't like bright colors like that yellow one I just had, I do think this is a really pretty option for you. Let me zoom in so that you can see it up close. There's really a lot more going on with this one than meets the eye. Like you have some pretty like pinks in here and like that um, cornflower blue is kind of throughout here. And the background is like a purplish gray. I don't, purple is probably not the right word. I would, I would say it's like definitely a gray color, but I was thinking that the background was going to be a little bit lighter than what it is. Um, like I said, it's really, really pretty. I'm just not sure that it is, um, for me. Quickly going through this style bag for those of you that might not be familiar with it. I do have full reviews on this one as well because it's one of my favorites from MZ Wallace. I currently have this bag in the beautiful walnut color, which is like a dark chocolatey brown as well as a bright pink neon one that has been in my collection for a while that I love for summer. I pull that one out a lot um, and I love them. I love them for every day. I love them for travel. They make awesome diaper bags. It's just a really, really good style from MZ Wallace. If you are new to the brand, this would kind of be like a great place to start. <laughs> um, but the medium Metro tote, you can carry it by these two handles here um, easily, like you see here. It also comes with a crossbody strap. So if you have it really full, if you're wearing it for travel, you can add that strap on and kind of wear it crossbody like this. Sometimes I'll even use the optional strap and wear that one over my shoulder if I'm just kind of like lugging it for travel on and off airplane type things. Um, the tote straps are really comfortable. You have a um, like leather lined piece here at the top. It's a nice like drop length here on the shoulder, so it's comfortable to carry. You have a good bit of like outside pockets on this one, which makes it a great travel bag. You have a pocket right here in the front. You have a same mirrored pocket right here in the back, and these pockets go down pretty deep. Like they're great for long wallets, passports, your phone, hand sanitizer, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then when you look down at the very top of the bag here, you can see I have the main part of the bag opened here, um, but you have these two like external pockets at the top, which are very, very big as well. Um, they all have like the nice chunky zippers that we love from MZ Wallace, but you basically have these two big pockets here at the top, and then you have the big main pocket, which has like a couple more like organization there on the inside. I do like that this print has a light colored lining. Um, that makes all the difference when you're trying to pack this thing with pouches or just find anything that's inside your bag. So I do really like the lining color on this one. Also definitely wanted to make note that this one has an optional luggage sleeve on the back of the bag and it zips at the bottom. So if you are not traveling or don't need to use it for travel, you just kind of have the extra pocket back here on the back of the bag. But like I said, if you wanted to put your trolley sleeve up through here, you could definitely use this one um, for travel. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in seeing some of the new stuff from MZ Wallace up close. 
I will have my affiliate link with MZ Wallace um, pinned in the comments as well as down in the description box should you want to shop any of these. I really appreciate it um, when you guys think of me and shop through any of my affiliate links. It really helps support my channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.